In this video, we're going to walk you through tracking your weight loss in Berrytastic. First, click on the green plus button to open up your daily trackers. Then you're going to click on the weight icon. And you'll see a number of different metrics in here. And uh, we'll get into these in a minute. But first, let's take a look at the settings section by clicking on the pencil icon in the top right corner. This is going to have a number of items in it. You're going to see your start weight. Now, Berrytastic uses your earliest entered weight as your start weight. So if this isn't correct, you'll need to go log a weight that is your earliest entered weight, and that will by default become your start weight. Your goal weight, you can tap on this and change it if you want to. And then you can split your goal into segments or milestones. I like splitting mine up into 10 milestones but certainly you could tap on the number of milestones here. If you wanted maybe five mini goals or milestones you could add. You could align this with round numbers if you wanted to, or if you just wanted one singular goal, you could do that and click on the top icon. I'm gonna leave it at 10 milestones. Um, down here at the bottom, we animate the trend updates. You can certainly turn that off if you wanted to. I like to legal leave my overall percentage complete toggled on, which is the green option. And then I'm just gonna click save changes. Now up here, we're gonna see I'm on milestone five to my goal. Here's my current weight over here, um, or at least my last entered weight over here. This is my percent complete on milestone five. You can see I'm about 44% of the way there. I have 1.5 pounds to go. And you can see here, I've completed four out of 10 total milestones. So when this becomes all the way green, that means I'm getting very close to 100% complete overall. And down here, I'm at 44.44% complete overall as well currently. And this will change as well. Typically, these don't match up perfectly like they are now. Um, but they are in this instance simply because of the weight that I'm at right now. Scrolling down, you're going to see your weight trends, lost before surgery, lost after surgery. I have not hit my surgery date yet, so currently after surgery, I'm at zero. Gain in seven days, gain in 30 days, lost all time, rate of loss, your weekly weight, your monthly rate, and then a chart down here. At the very bottom of your graph, you can change this. If you wanted to see all of your weight logs all time, you're going to be able to see those for one year, 90 days, etc. To log your weight, you're gonna click on the log weight button. Change the date if you need to. By default, it's gonna to be today's date. Enter your weight. Click add entry. And it's going to update all these items on here. So now you'll see on this milestone, I'm 81.48% complete. I only have 0.5 pounds to go, but I'm still only 48.15 complete overall. Um, these will update as well. And then the other thing that you can do is log multiple weights or log previous weights in here by clicking on log weight, click on multi entry, and then choose the date that you want, enter your weight, and then choose the next date and click done. Choose the next date that you want, enter your weight, click done. And by doing that, you can add multiple weights um, over a period of time. We're going to click back. Your logbook is going to show you all of your previous entries. Uh, your earliest entry again is your starting weight. So my starting weight going all the way back is 192 on January 25th of 2017. That's going to be my starting weight. If I don't want to use that as my starting weight, I can edit it or delete it by clicking the pencil icon again up here and clicking the red minus sign to delete it. If I want, I can click on it and change that starting weight as well. But again, once you put in your surgery date into the app, the weight tracking section will automatically calculate your weight loss after surgery and your weight loss before surgery. This button here will let you export your weight logs if you wanted to. You can click on that and then email yourself an exported weight log. And that is it for this um, video. As always, if you have any questions in the main menu, there. Thank you.